we are going to take a peek into an atom. But why? The word atom itself came from Greek meaning indivisible. A not tom cat, atom. And it was Greek philosopher Democritus who gave us this concept of a smallest building block of material universe. Well, his reasoning was beautifully simple. If you take anything and cut it in half, and then in half, and then in half, 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 eventually you would reach a point when it's indivisible. Well, who knows? We probably would rather listen to those Greek philosophers with all their deep thoughts on happiness and opinion and greatest pleasures and greatest pains and not to mess with it. Because as we know later on, other curious minds on this planet did take a peek and divide an atom. And it turned out when you divide an atom, you get an atom bomb. Well, strictly speaking, you would need more than one atom for that. But apparently, the smallest smallness of an atom, along with its unimaginable power inside, could be your why to get curious about an atom anatomy. Well, we'll be looking at more practical down to us why it's nice to know an atomic structure. And that would be and that could be something not just reading ingredients on the nutrition label, but actually dare to look them up. And that probably would require to get your balls together. Well, it could be your tennis or golf or even your kitten balls. Or it actually could be anything you can get your hands on. It could be buttons, beads, modeling clay, magnets. Well, if you decide to look up saturated, unsaturated, trans fatty acid, they most likely will be defined through a bunch of chemistry terminology. They'll just also give you a ball and stick model. But to know how many sticks are coming out from those balls would require to know how many electrons. For that, you would need to take a look inside uh, your atoms, like inside your carbon and hydrogen and oxygen atoms. And while it might sound a bit involving and might remind you of some not so happy memories of your chemistry in school. Struggling with electron configuration formula. I know that the only way to actually help them to understand the concept is first to visualize an atom and then to see the connection of all those protons, neutrons and electrons with the data given on this beautiful colorful chart called periodic table of uh, the elements. And while it's absolutely valuable in terms of giving all the information about all the elements. The thing is, your body consists mainly of four elements. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen. They all could be found in the very first periods. So you don't need to dive into complexity, into the ocean of the full periodic table of the elements. And while it's absolutely valuable in terms of giving all the information about all the elements, there is a chance it might be a bit overwhelming for a kid with all its new terminology, symbols, numbers, categories, subcategories. So the first step we're going to do is to un-overwhelm it. And we can do it elegantly because the word elegant came from Latin elegiary, meaning to pick out a choice. So our choice to pick out just very first three periods and work with that. And as long as you understand all that elementary stuff, it's going to be your choice to dive into the full periodic table of elements. And who knows, probably your power of choice is much more powerful than 
the powers inside that small atom. Well, let us see the connection. This is helium atom model. And red wooden beads represents protons here. And it's two, it's two protons. Well, how do you know that helium has two protons? Well, that's when periodic table of the elements came into play. You look through, find helium, look at the left corner, see the number, it's two. That's how you know. Well, down to neutrons, there is another number underneath the name of the element. Well, that's connected to neutrons. I don't really want to use new terminology, but if you look here, it's in the definition of isotope and well, let's keep going down to the electron. That is the most mysterious particle because they say you cannot know location and velocity of the electron at the same time. It basically could be anywhere. Well, that's kind of mysterious, but again, we're going to go back down to more practical wise. So, after we understood the structure, what's inside an atom, let us see how those atoms might get connected to each other. This, if you molecule models, let us see as the CO2. And this is carbon atom model. Carbon. This ball represents carbon. And if you can see, there are four stickers coming out from it. Well, how do you know it's four sticks? Because if you look at the glucose molecule here, you see it's always four. Why, if you look at the nitrogen, it's three here, three here. If you look at the oxygen, it's two here, two here, two here. And if you look at the hydrogen, it's one. Well, all that connection and how it's come together, you would need periodic table of elements for that. And since we mentioned electron configuration formula, there is another model. Well, this is one kind of model we're going to make. But you can uh, go much more simple. That's just cardboard from any packaging material. And you can make this kind of model of oxygen. And once you make this kind of model, it's really easy to write an electron configuration formula. Well, we will definitely have a different video on that. Well, voila, it's going to be all for today for our introduction video for elegant science seminars. We would like to hear from you and we'll see you later.